So we'll go ahead and get started. So these are just some nice um, morning stretches that we've been doing um, for about a month now, if not a little bit longer. So you just need your mat again. We're just doing some real basic uh, wake up and stretch out. So let's just uh, take a nice tall stance here for a bit and take a few deep breaths, breathing in and out the nose. And just notice how your breathing is. Is it uh, choppy today? Do you feel uh, tired? Do you feel pretty, you know, awake? Um, just take a time to notice your energy and how you're feeling. And then we'll gently start to add our arms with that breath. So inhale, reach the arms up. Feel that stretch in the spine, maybe feel in the ribs. Exhale down. And then inhale, reach it up. Can you feel your shoulders actually lift your hips away or your ribs away from your hips? And then we'll do one more. Inhale, reach it up. And then exhale, release down. And then let's gently bring our arms forward. Inhale, open up. So just kind of notice how your shoulders move your spine. And then exhale as you reach your arms forward round through your spine, pull your belly and tuck the tailbone down. So inhale, notice the arms reach back, the shoulder blades pull together, the spine extends. And then as we exhale, it's a nice little stretch, press that area between the shoulder blades to the back of the room. And we'll do one more, inhale, open. Looking up, maybe stretching the throat, feel a stretch in the abdominal cavity, exhale, round. And then gently interlace your fingers, press your palms to the front of the room, and then reach your arms up overhead. Now never move through a range that causes discomfort. So if it feels okay, take your shoulders, lift them up to your ears, and as you do that, kind of walk your ribs. So really getting a nice elongation in both sides of the body, the right and left. And then exhale, just gently release them down. And then we're gonna reach them out in front. Inhale, bring it up. Can you feel that's a little bit of a different stretch? Exhale down. Now, if that bothers your back, don't let your ribs pop out. Pull your ribs together, use your core. But otherwise, we're kind of going into an extension here. So exhale down. And your shoulder blades on this one kind of tuck under and really lift the ribs up. Exhale down, and then we're gonna go into a forward fold. So hands to the thighs and gently make your way down. So this is supported. This might feel pretty good right now. We'll relax your head so that the crown of the head's parallel to the floor. I just lift up so you guys can hear me talking. And then maybe your elbows come to the thighs if that feels okay. Maybe your hands reach for the floor. We're also different. So go where it feels good to you. Um, ideally, and then maybe grabbing your elbows, but ideally feeling a stretch in your hamstrings, lower back. Just think of the breath and notice the ribs expanding and you're hanging upside down. So you're decompressing your spine, especially in a different way with breathing, with expanding those ribs hanging out upside down. Also brings a lot of blood to the brain. So um, fresh oxygen, which is good, but it increases blood pressure. So just be mindful of that. We'll take one more or two more, two more full breaths here. And then we'll take the hands on the thighs, knees are bent, and then gently tuck the tailbone under first and slowly restack the spine. Go slow. When you get to the top, take a moment just to notice how everything feels. Have you, can you notice a difference? And then we're just going to gently roll our shoulders. I like the alternating. And then notice how that feels in your shoulders. And then we'll take them in the opposite way. And we'll head into some neck stretches. So your hands can stay right here by your side, or you can bring them behind you. And then we'll gently tuck the chin in so that you lengthen the back of the neck and down. So it's different than letting it drop off the spine. So in and down. And then as you're breathing here, notice your ribs, maybe notice the top of the rib 
when you breathe in, that typically lifts up the top part of the ribs. If you've ever done my three-part breaths, you'll know what I'm talking about. You might go a little deeper stretch in those muscles on the back side. So a few more breaths here. With each exhalation, think of releasing any tension, slowing that exhalation down. And then we'll take our chin walk it across our right collarbone. Notice that left side. And then gently over to the left. Again, you can always stay with a stretch that feels good for you. If you're tight in your neck, you might want to stay with these. And then walk it in a range where it felt pretty good for you. If there was a tighter range that just felt like it needed a little bit more attention. And then we'll gently bring it back to the center. Come on, up, bring your head up, keeping your chin in. And then just shake your arms out. Let's take our right ear to our right shoulder. And we're going to start to side them. But notice how this feels. See if you can get your nose and chin to face forward. And then gently um, start to side bend. So take that right hand and slide it down. All different ways to side bend. Inhale, reach that arm up. So engage your core for a little bit more protection in the spine if you're feeling a little, um, you know, like you want a little more support. And then, then add a little bit more. So then reach your left arm up and over. Feel the left ribs lift away from the left hip. Maybe the left hips move to the left. Maybe you want to engage into that left hip. You can also add a little bit more by pressing the right hand down into your right leg. Drawing the four corners together, lifting up through the legs. Just engaging all these nice strong muscles. And then when you come out of it, think of pulling, you know, engage those muscles that pull the ribs to the hips and like gently press your left foot to the left. So you're using a little bit of your abductors. Pull back to center to bring yourself back to midline. Take a moment here just to notice how that left side feels. Just to kind of take a moment to notice even just these light little Morning stretches do send a little different energy into the body physically and hopefully mentally because you're slowing down the breath. So let's go ahead and take a side bend to the left. So left ear to the left shoulder. Nice and slow. Notice that right side. Let it release down. And again, you might want to stay here or start to carry that side bend down a little further. Maybe engage a little bit more since you're going into an extreme Range if you are adding that right arm, lifting up, feeling that stretch, and then maybe reaching it over, maybe letting the hips sway. Hold here. Go back. Maybe pressing that left hand into the thigh. And then we'll gently. Come out of this. So think about bringing that rib into the hip, pressing that right leg up. And release that. Shake it out. And then we're going to do some rotations. So when you rotate uh, to the right, let your left heel come up. That'll let your left hip rotate in. And you'll feel a little deeper stretch in your back. And you might even let that left shoulder blade pull off your spine like you're reaching to the right. And you can go slower. That's for these rotations. But get a feel in your spine. Notice how your hips and ribs move, where you're tight. Back and forth. We'll do it one more each way. And then back over. And then bring it back to the center and release down. So we're going to go even wider into a little bit of a wide straddle. So um, we're just going to start off with bending our right knee, shifting our weight to the right. Maybe you're feeling a stretch in that inner thigh on that, right, that left side. So just kind of check out that right hip. See how that feels. Press into your foot. 
Maybe bring the ribs a little bit further down to your thigh, lengthen through the spine. And then we'll press into that right foot. Notice how everything feels and we'll check out that left side. So come all the way up and then gently shift your weight over to the left and then your left knee. Noticing if anything is tight, stay strong on your left hip, lengthen through your spine. And then press into that left foot and come all the way up. And then gently place the hands on the hips. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, tilt the tailbone back. Wide straddle forward, full feet are parallel. Hands just gently slide down. So take your time. Notice if one side's a little tighter than the other. So take your time to focus your mind on your inner well being, just to notice what's going on. This helps to become more in tune and maybe relax it all the way down. Go where it feels comfortable for you. If your hands are touching, maybe try to walk your hands in between your feet. And breathe. Maybe press, don't fall over, but maybe press the hands down into the mat and a little forward, allowing your ribs to fold forward. Here. And then from here, we're just going to gently walk our hands over to the right. And then slowly over to the left. See how that feels? And if it all feels good, again, you can just stay in a forward fold. We're going to add a little bit of a rotation, but we're just going to stay centered. So take your left hand directly underneath your left nose. And if it's not there, you can keep it on your thigh. And all you're going to do is take a nice little rotation to the right. Keep the spine nice and long. Try not to round. Keep the hips parallel and just see how far you can rotate. Maybe add the arm, maybe you can wrap the arm. So you can wrap it behind you, reach for your left hip. So as you're here for a few more breaths, kind of scan, noticing where you feel it, because we'll do it the same on the other side. So gently when you're ready, we'll release back to center. Right fingertips come to the mat so you can press into that right hand. We'll bring our left hand to our hips and gently rotate to the left. Notice how different the sides might feel. So you can reach that left arm up or you can bend it and wrap. Nice slow breaths. And gently release that. Place both hands on your hips. Press into your heels. Use the, all the muscles on the back side to bring yourself all the way back up. Maybe check in with the hips a little bit. Check in with the breathing. And then we're going to do a little bit of a lunge with this and a rotation. So if you go as far as you can. You might want to heel toe your feet in. But we're going to get a stretch in the front of the left hip. So we'll pivot on our right foot. You'll bend the right knee. And then you're going to rotate. So notice this left hip. As you rotate to the right, the, knee, the heel will come off so that the hip can rotate with you a little bit. But then you're going to continue rotating your ribs away from your left hip. And then just see how that feels. And then let's start to reach our left arm up and our right arm down. Maybe bend the elbows, place your hands behind your head and open up here. Breathe. So this is a balance. Slowly release your hands, squeeze your hip bones together, and then gently follow your gaze as you come out. So what I mean by that is don't just start to look quickly towards the camera. Just take your gaze and kind of walk it to the front of the room. And just take a moment to notice how that feels on the left side. 
And we'll do the same thing, open up that right hip. So we'll pivot on our left foot and just kind of notice as you start to rotate. The heel comes up, the hips keep rotating. Maybe that right arm comes up, the left arm goes down. Maybe you bend the elbows and let the head relax into the hand. And then gently balance, so release your hands, engage, and slowly rotate back to the center. So we'll bend our knees and heel toe, our feet together, and go nice and slow so you can kind of feel that. Shake it out. Let's do a straight legged forward fold. So we'll bring our hands to our hips, spread your toes wide. If uh, and then lower your pinky toe down one at a time until your big toe is down. So notice where you feel right now that you need to release, whether it's your lower back or hamstrings. You really want a hamstring stretch, keep those knees stretched straight. Tilt your tailbone back, keep that length in your spine. If you're feeling like you wanna do a bent legged forward fold and get a nice release in your lower back, that's always an option too. That's what we just did earlier. Uh, to start class off with, just to kind of decompress the spine. Keeping this um, spine a little more neutral allows the curves in your spine and therefore the positioning of your hip to be um, in a position kind of known as neutral to get a little bit deeper stretch into your hamstring. Breathe. And then as you come out of this, press evenly into your heel. So sometimes we'll switch from one heel to the other. And come all the, engage all those muscles in the hips and in the glutes. And then we'll gently shake it all out. Notice how you feel. And we'll come down um, onto, we'll come down onto our, uh, to seated position. So gently make your way down, however you'd like to get down. Um, and then from here, we're going to bring your right, your left knee in, and just give it a, you know, pull it in as much as you can, kind of release that left side. And then gently let your left knee fall out to the left, and then just kind of wrap, if you can, you can hold it here, or you can wrap your arm around. But what you want to do is kind of gently move your torso so that you can come forward. So you're going to get a little deeper stretch in the lower back there. And you can always wrap your arms on this if you know what that is. It's like half a garland pose if you guys know yoga. And then release that. We're going to do the other side. Actually, I meant to take a rotation. So stay here with that left leg. We're gonna do some back bends on the mat. Well, extensions on our belly. So let's rotate our spine to get a little bit more range of motion. So you'll take your left hand behind you. Remember not to sink into that rotator cuff. Reach that right arm up. Exhale, place the elbow on the outside of that right knee and rotate. If, it does, if that doesn't feel good in your arm, you can just hug that knee again. And then we'll come out of that and release that and we'll add the other leg. So right leg in, see how that feels. And this might be just enough for you. Let's so stay here. If you wanna get it a little deeper, let your right leg come out a little bit, reach your chest forward. Maybe your arm comes in front. Maybe you wrap. Just breathe. Notice how that right side feels.
slow release that, pull that in the end, take a nice rotation to the right, either adding the left arm up to create that length, reach the arm up in the air, allows the ribs to reach up, keep that length as you rotate to the right. And then we will slowly release that and we will um, come down onto our bellies. So kind of like a cobra, it's really more of just an extension of your spine. Now this laying on your belly for some of us is a lot for the hips. This is extension, just kind of forcing your body into that. So if that feels like it's a lot, you can just stay here and breathe into it. Otherwise, take your elbows underneath your shoulders. And again, if that feels like it's a lot, then walk your elbows a little further in front. You can let them wing out if you want. That's just gonna release that back bend in your spine. So go where it feels, you know, comfortable. And then we're gonna engage a little bit more by pressing our elbows into the mat and letting our ears come away from our shoulders and just start to feel muscles in your back engage. Pull the belly in just gentle so that you're engaging that front side too. And then very gently, this is like a thumbprint, not, not a whole lot of force here. Press your elbows towards your uh, hips. So they're not gonna move, you're just a very gently kind of pressing them towards your hips. So just notice that you keep all of that and then slowly press your hands down into the mat. And then they're gonna press forward. So the elbows will come forward now too. You kind of still engage a little bit. And then you can stay here or float the elbows up. You wanna go into like a cobra, breathe. And you can also kind of walk the ribs a little bit. If you wanted to try that, see how that feels. You can do that with your elbows down. And then whenever you're ready, you can stay there. Gently release all the way down, let your head relax. And we're just going to bend both knees and let both feet just come away from each other. So that's internal rotation in your thigh bones, in your hips. And that typically um, frees up space in your lower back. So see if that does. Just notice how that feels in your lower back. Take a few more breaths. And we'll gently bring our feet back together, lower all the way down. And then gently roll over onto your back. And just take a moment here to breathe. Notice your lower back. And try to keep the back of the neck long so that your chin's not up. And then from here, just pull your right knee into your chest. See how that feels. Slide your left leg down the mat. And then gently grab behind your right thigh and just slowly start to straighten the knee. So keep your thigh in towards your wrist, stretching a little different part of the hamstring. So some of you guys might be able to take this leg straight. Some might be here. But wherever you are, you're keeping the thigh in close. So it's a pretty deep stretch. And then gently straighten that leg. So release your hands or release, let that leg come away from you and try to straighten the feet. Let's see how that feels. You can still hold on to the thigh, but try not to pull on it. You might even be here. Try not getting much of a stretch if you're here. If you have a strap, you might want to use that. And then keeping your left hand on your hip, guide your right leg out to the right. Don't let your left hip come up. See how that feels. 
back. And relax up. And remember, engage your core when you're moving your lower extremities around. So we're going to bring that leg back in and then uh, cross it over midline. We're going to let our right foot go all the way over to the left. So your right hip's going to come off that mat. Tee your arms out and then gently look to it. A little bit deeper stretch. Kind of got a little bit of this when we were in a wide straddle with a rotation. Just notice how it feels the lower back and in the hips. And then before you release, take a moment to breathe and notice how it feels. Like notice where it is. And just we'll explore the other side. So roll that over into your back. Place your right foot on the mat. Bring the left knee in. Breathe. Just hold it here. I'll just do ankle movements. I'll just take your back. Have your knee in. And then so lower back a little bit. Put place the hands behind the thighs. Gently straighten that knee. Don't pull too much, just kind of exploring and noticing. And then see how it feels to straighten the knee. So it might release away from you a little bit. Oh, sorry, we're supposed to straighten our right leg down on the mat. And then we'll guide our left leg out. Right hand goes on top of the right hip. Try to keep that right hip down and just explore moving your left leg out to the left. Where do you feel that? And on your next exhale, bring your leg in. Gently guide it all the way over to the right. Left hip will come up off the mat. You can tee your arms out. And just notice how it feels on this side. We'll look maybe to the left. Get a full rotation from the tailbone all the way to the top of the head. And then we will gently bring ourselves back onto our spine. So I say gently a lot, but I really mean to go slow and explore. And then release that foot down, place both feet on the mat. Heel toe your feet out wide, knees together. And we'll just take one hand to our heart, one hand to our belly. Close your eyes and just take a few deep breaths here. You can stay here or extend your legs out. We'll bring your hands to your side. Whatever feels good to you, but take a moment just to kind of notice your heartbeat, notice your breathing. A moment to slow down and just take some time for your own well being. Checking in with your energy. We see any tension, explore any tension in the jaw, the lower back. Being kind to yourself. And taking moments like this to slow down. So gently roll over onto your side if you're coming up and press all the way up to a seated position. So thanks for joining me today, um, Friday, down another week.